Hello, we're coming to you from AQS Quilt Week in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I am sitting here with our best of show winners, Gail Stepanik and Jan Hutchison. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, I know you're not new to winning some best of shows, but just tell me what a thrill it is to win best of show with your work. It's always a shock and, a, and just really exciting. You but always and wait for it. Yeah, and, but it's always a surprise. Well, I know this quilt has won some ribbons in some of our other shows, and here at this show, you won Best of Show. And I have to tell you, the competition this year, because everybody had five years of quilts that they could enter, um, the competition is really stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, the quilts are impressive. Well, so let's talk about this quilt and who did what. Okay. Okay, um, I did the piecing of the top and the applique. The pattern is a dahlia bond pattern, but I added an extra line and each petal split it in half to put in two different fabrics. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, uh, I did it, it's paper pieced, the block, and it, it was done in a circular design and then I reverse use reverse applique to set it into a block. Okay. All right. The border, the border design or the sashing, I'm sorry, the dot design is only a layer of two dots. It looks like it's more dots because I fussy cut a dot fabric that had a black background. Okay, now I know as I've been here by the sh by your quilt during the show so far, the one question everybody's been asking is, what is that black dot in the middle of those circles? That black dot and the swaggy type border is glitter vinyl, fusible glitter vinyl. And so d you didn't have to sew that on, it's just no, fused it's on? it's just fused on, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. We actually used a heat press. Oh, to do it, so you to got a, a really so, good seal yes, right, on it. Yes. <laughs> well, it's it's beautiful, and I think the ribbony thing, the fact that it isn't totally even all the way around, some of the swags are a little bit shorter and longer, uh, just adds more interest to that border. Well, the border was all Jan's idea. When I was stumped, she came <laughs> came from Kansas to help me. And she came to in, the rescue. And, huh? Yes, did it in two minutes. <laughs> Well, and I just noticed that the quilting that you did on the border is different than what's on the inside, and so tell me the thought process there. Okay, well, I, I don't like to compete with Gail's blocks, so I tried to keep the quilting in the blocks more subdued. But then in the border, I could go crazy and do whatever I wanted, so. <laughs> so that's what you did, that's isn't right. it? Well, one of the things that I really like about it is the straight lines right here and so tell us what batting you use so that you, the reason that puffs Makes like it, puff. it does. Well, partly it puffs because I quilted really close together. Those lines are really close together, but I use two bats. There's a wool bat and an 80-20 bat. So the wool is on top? Right. Now, the one thing everyone needs to know about that is it also keeps your quilt from wrinkling so bad because of the spring in the wool, isn't it? That's right. That's why Gail likes me to use two bats. Yes. Well, and so then when you fold it, and sometimes it might be folded for quite a while, it's real easy to set those creases in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so the wool bat makes a huge difference. So that's just a lesson for everybody out there. That's right. Well, and I'll tell you what I liked about that, that straight line design and then the puffy part is it leads your eye around the quilt. And so it really leads you from block to block to block so that you get to look at all of it. Yeah. Doesn't it? Is there anything else? Anything that was hard or different about this quilt? Just that darn border. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was but what's nice is that she I got to see her. She came up to oh, uh, yes. But yes, we, because most of the time you work independently, don't right, you? Right. right. She, yes. Yeah. Right. She's in Kansas and I'm in Illinois, so it was well, a few miles trip. apart. Yeah. Yes. She didn't have to applique those little tiny points either since it was oh, fusible. Sure. <laughs> well it certainly is a beautiful quilt and congratulations to both of you Thank again you. on an AQS Best of Show winner. Thank you Bonnie. And um, we, well, I, you probably already have another quilt in process don't you? That's why I came out to visit her this time. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> she needs more help. It's the same thing. <laughs> well, you make a good duo putting your quilts together. And we hope that you'll enter your quilts in AQS Quilt Week. And better yet, we hope you'll come see us here at the next AQS Quilt Week event.